Hey friends, we did it again, but this time for Austin instead of Portland, we found some coffee shops. It's been a lot of hard work. We spent a lot of time eating good food, drinking great drinks, but we're here and we are ready to go. From learning to traveling adventures, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a video every Wednesday. Hi, I'm Mehul. I'm on this adventure because I used to own a coffee shop, so I have a unique perspective there, except that I don't actually drink coffee. So my opinions will be from the perspective of different drinks and just kind of the atmosphere and the ambiance of these places. And yet again, I'm here for the aesthetic, culture, and yummy drinks. Starting things off, we have Saten. I again had to find one of the only, if not only, Japanese-themed and owned cafes in the Austin area. We went to the Canopy location, which is one of two locations currently. They had one really good non-coffee drink. It was the brown sugar lemonade, which I highly recommend for non-coffee drinkers. I mean, it was the food that made it unique, right? Like, it definitely was not designed as a coffee shop. It was designed more as a hangout and food place. Like, they had coffee <laughs> and eats. Since it's such a good place for lunch time, I would highly recommend the curry chicken. Delicious. Or the chicken courage is how we think we pronounce it. That is how we think we pronounce it. <laughs> So next up we have Cafe Nanai, or that's how we think we pronounce that one, uh, out in East Austin. We went inside and for like a hot second we thought that this was a YouTube perk. Like the perk of, of having a channel, we were we getting insider access to this really cool cafe that wasn't yet open again to the public inside. And, and then a bunch of other people started coming inside. So <laughs> you could tell that she put in a lot of hard work into to what the coffee shop was. So it was really beautiful. What I liked about it was that the baked goods seemed to be homemade and very unique. Really the ham and cheese though. And the orange tree. What was the orange tree called? I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's whatever orange cake they have for breakfast. Get it. Comment below and share your favorite coffee shop in Austin or other cities. Next up we have Revival Coffee, which is owned by the same Latina lady that owns Sequero Mucho. And it kind of has the same vibe in that it's very pink. I was looking for more of an atmosphere for having a conversation. The music's a little bit loud. But it does have a great outdoor patio area. And also there's food trucks on the side, like right connected to the patio. Get the horchata drink, because they sold out of it and they've got to be sold out for a reason. At 8 a.m. I drag it him everywhere at 8 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this was a mistake on my part. If anyone would like to replace me, contact Mallory. Contact me! <laughs> Next up, we have Iranian-owned Makinez Coffee. So this one was more of a traditional coffee shop, the way you think of coffee shops in Austin. I got the owner's permission to take a video inside of the coffee shop. He came up and he asked me if I had taken all my photos, like he cared, he wanted me to be happy with all that I was taking. He was so sweet. One of the unique fun things about this place, though, was that there was monkeys literally everywhere. Everywhere. Statues, pictures, all sorts of stuff. They really bought into their theme. Oh my god, monkey <laughs> nest. Last but not least is a Vietnamese-owned Cafe Creme. There's a lot of construction going on near this cafe. <laughs> but once you are able to park... It looks very bland from the outside. It looks, it looks so... It doesn't even look like a cafe of any sort, except for the name. And then you walk in and it's amazing. It's amazing! It's, it's well lit. There's a local <laughs> artist's art on the wall. There was a book exchange if you like reading, which I love reading, so it was great. They had great food, they had freshly made tacos instead of the pre-prepared ones you get everywhere else. They had amazing oh crepes, savory and sweet. Would highly yeah. recommend the Nutella. Just get one of everything. Just get one it's of all everything. It's all worth it. Yeah. It's just not a really good resource for finding minority-owned businesses. 
so many hours were spent trying to find just these five coffee shops. <laughs> so if you're interested, make sure to check them out. I put their Instagrams in the description below. If we missed one in the Austin area, please comment below and we look forward to checking them out. If you like this video, check out the Portland coffee video right here, somewhere over here. And thanks for watching it and make sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye, you're so far. <laughs>like so many more takes mm -hmm. I'm trying to, to get, get it perfect, perfect right. right and all of that is being recorded that's great <laughs> right? I love that for me <laughs> you to eat delicious food gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out how to make this more readable oh there we go okay perfect mm, snap landscape <laughs> I didn't even think of that smash like button it's the last bit it's the last bit this is, you should be an expert on this part. Comment below and share your. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong at you.